everyone, this is Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated and another episode of iCarry. Today's video features a custom handgun built with a Lone Wolf Distributor's Timberwolf frame, an arrival arm slide, a hollow sun red dot, and a Filster holster. Let's take a closer look at this gear. We've covered this setup previously on iCarry, but wanted to revisit today with a red dot sight mounted. To recap, the frame is a new release from Lone Wolf Distributors, the Timberwolf TWC-C frame. It's a complete serialized frame that only needs a slide for completion and it fits Glock G19 based holsters. The two biggest differences between the TWC-C and the G19 are the trigger guard, which is rounded on the TWC-C, and the grip angle. The TWC-C offers a slightly different angle than the G19, although no change in magazine design is needed. The Rival Arms Precision Upgrade slide offers the ability to add a red dot sight, in this case one based on the RMR optics cut while offering lightning cuts, forward cocking serrations, and Glock style sight setup. This particular slide has been finished with a Rival Arms threaded barrel and suppressor height sights in addition to a Lone Wolf slide finishing kit. While it's a more expensive way to add a red dot sight to your everyday carry than having an existing slide milled, it's both faster and allows for some upgrades should you be so inclined. We've had the opportunity to run about 400 rounds through this slide and frame combination and found it to function well. The trigger is pretty much a standard 5.5 pound Glock trigger with all the associated take up and reset. Controls are slightly oversized without being so large they catch on clothing or gear and are quite easy to activate. The grip texturing is more aggressive than standard Glock, but not painfully so. It's a great choice for a non-Glock Glock if you're looking for something outside the ordinary. The real nice thing about the Timberwolf TWC series, as we pointed out previously, is that with the removal of a small spacer, it can be used with either Gen 3 or Gen 4 Glock slides. The Rival Arm slide is a Gen 3, while the Brownell slide we've also featured on iCarry is a Gen 4. To swap between the two, the spacer stays in for the Gen 3 or is removed for the Gen 4. It's a simple solution to the intergenerational dilemma in the Glock family. Holosun's line of optics has been emerging as a solid line of affordable red dots. We tested one of the carbine mounted optics a few years back, and not only did the optic perform fine in testing, but it has remained on the same carbine for nearly three years now. It has maintained zero as expected, the battery is still going strong. Holosun's line of pistol-mounted red dots have proven to follow the same guidelines for reliability and durability. The HS407C V2 mounts with the same footprint as the Trigicon RMR and offers a 2 MOA dot with 10 brightness levels. There's a solar backup function, what Holosun calls shake awake when the dot turns on via motion, and a side axis battery drawer for the single CR1632 battery. Up to 50,000 hours of battery life are possible on brightness level 6. Holosun even includes a Picatinny mount if you want to use the HS407C V2 with a carbine or shotgun. That's an awful lot of utility for a site that retails under $300 MSRP and can be found online under $250. Rounding out this kit is Filster's skeleton holster for the Glock G19. We've chosen it primarily to highlight the compatibility of the Lone Wolf Timberwolf TWC frame with Glock holsters, but also because the skeleton is an all around great holster. It's super minimalist, yet offers complete protection, excellent retention, and works with suppressor height sights in most red dot optics. It has a single pull the dot style loop to attach to a 1.5 inch belt, which it can of course be swapped for a number of different attachment methods if so desired. Two additional points about the skeleton. First, it's completely ambidextrous. Since there's only a single attachment point, one need only swap the hardware to the other side to change the handedness of the skeleton. Second, it's tuckable. While tucking a shirt over a holstered pistol does increase the difficulty in retrieving the gun under pressure, it also provides additional concealment that might be necessary depending on your situation. Personally, I prefer to leave the shirt untucked and draped over the rig, but I have been in situations where I needed to tuck things in. It does come in quite handy. For more information on the gear we've chosen today, or to see other everyday carry kits, visit shootingillustrated.com. And, as always, stay tuned for more guns and gear on iCarry.